So our final pitch this morning is microscope. Welcome. Good morning. Microscope, an innovative, immersive and interactive live music and theatre experience. Hello ladies and gents, now I know you think this is some kind of arts conference, but that was all just a cover. Each of you have been hand selected to be here today to join us in a sonic war that's been going on all around. I mean, the clues in the name, Decibel, I'll let this film explain. Music has the power to trigger thought and emotion like nothing else. For years, the Department of Culture and Communication has used music to control our behaviour. Every material in the universe resonates at a specific frequency. The DOCC has now started to take advantage of this. Their new sonic immersions contain powerful hidden frequencies that hit our brains, trigger responses, and can control us completely. Powerful frequencies are already used as weapons of war, but now they are being hidden in everyday music and sounds, so that soon we will all be infected and controlled by these sonic viruses. A group of scientists broke away from the Department of Culture and Communication, turning against their old masters to create an underground resistance. The resistance uses sonic immersions to immunize us against the DOCC sonic viruses at secret locations around the world. You have been specially selected to join the Microscope Sonic Resistance. Welcome to Microscope. So recruits, welcome to Microscope and welcome to the Sonic Resistance. We're going to immunise you against the sonic vaccines that the DOCC have been using to control the population. And they sound something like this. That one can result in frothing at the mouth for large sections of the male population. Actually, sir, you've just got a little bit of froth, a little bit of trouble just there. Yeah, don't wipe it. Yeah, it's gone, it's gone, okay. Now, the following sonic virus threatened to wipe out a whole generation of youth when the DOCC tricked kids into downloading this on their mobile phones. So, we've decided to do a vaccination drive here in Manchester because it's been home to some of the most toxic, brain-killing sonic viruses in these past days. So you remember these dark days. <laughs> okay, so we're going to immunise you against the DOCC's sonic viruses by exposing you to our sonic vaccines. And they sound a little bit something like this. Go, 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 go. <laughs> There's a window, bro. I can't turn my radar off. Oh, no. Only, only, only you. Get on it. So, this should be pretty straightforward, guys. You ready? I said, are you ready? Hang on a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on a minute. What is that? Is that someone's ringtone? Is that, is that someone's phone? Give me that. What is that? is unlike we have seen before. It what? completely destroys brain function. Destroys brain function? Can you sonic vaccine? Can you sonic virus? Get, get up. Come on, guys. Help her back up to a seat. Help her back up to a seat. Oh, my God. Right, we're going to have to call in uh, Resistance HQ. I've got to think fast here. Oh, OK, R12. R12, are you there? R12. R12, mate. R12? Uh, yeah, yeah, sorry, I'm in quarantine. I accidentally tuned into that new Cher Lloyd single, got all infected. What whoa, is whoa, with whoa, that whoa. girl? Whoa, she we do not have time for this. We've got a situation here, about 100 people, all infected, some kind of new sonic virus. We've been sabotaged. 
Uh, are any of the people infected particularly feeble? Well, they do all work in the arts. Oh, that's worse than I thought. Uh, okay, you, you need to go off road here. Think out the box. You need to work together with all the recruits there and make up a new sonic vaccine. Someone in that group will have the antibodies you need to fight this new sonic virus. But what do we need, R12? Uh, you're going to need about 150 to 400 recruits all standing up, bombard them with different sonics, and while that's happening, they need to interact, get involved, help us make this new sonic vaccine. There's various tasks they'll have to complete. But where are we going to do this? What about location? The resistance is flexible, all right? We can use theatres, music venues, warehouses, galleries. Last time there was a crisis like this, we did it at a festival. Remember, we're surprisingly low tech, so don't worry. And how long is immunisation going to take? Start to finish, about 70 minutes. And who's going to pay for this R12? Uh, we've already had seed funding. We're ready to go. We're a finished product. Now we need mixed component support from people on the ground, uh, practice space to make sure it goes to plan, uh, maybe some marketing support. Uh, also, I really need a haircut so they could pay for that. Haircut? We've got a situation here. Oh, uh, relax. We faced this kind of crisis before. Let me show you some footage. Okay, so don't panic. The DOCC is always trying to trip up the resistance. We need to work together to try and combat these sonic viruses. Good luck. Okay, recruits, I'll meet you up on the Arndale in half an hour. Let's get this resistance started. That's fab, thank you. And, and of course you were joined there by, by Riz, by Riz Ahmed, uh, who's, who's part of the group. Um, it, it looks pretty technical. Tell me about it. It, it does, but we are deceptively low-tech. Um, really, all we need is two screens, two projectors, and four podiums. Um, but obviously, kind of PA and lights, but we can adapt that to ideally whatever is in-house. And you're looking for, where is it in its sort of process of development? It's, it's a finished product, so really we're looking for people to book it into their venues or theatres or festivals. Um, so we're, we're ready to go, really. But we're looking at 2012, really from April uh, through to into next summer. Right, so 2012. Yes. And what sort of size space? It can be... Uh, uh, hopefully, as, as, as Riz kind of got over, we can. Uh, the ideal capacity is 150 to 400. So it would need to be a kind of square room, a bit like this, really. Something ideally flat, um, a screen at either end. So yes, anything that can hold up to kind of four, 400 people. Fantastic. Thank you. What about other questions out there? Are people? Yes. Um, I program for a small theatre down on the south coast of Bridport, but I know that Fabric is a name of a nightclub mm -hmm. that will have a lot of uh, resonances, particularly for my son, who I know often goes <laughs> there. Um, so I want to know, if I book you, yep. what kind of um, Twitter, Facebook, um, internet uh, presence you're going to be able to make yourselves felt with an audience who I don't currently access yeah. because I'm really interested and I'd love to have you but I, I'm worried that I bring you in and that my audience would go well, what's that whereas if you have an audience like already that I'm interested we do we do already um I mean, we have a, a website up already, um, rizmc.com. Riz has about 14,000 followers on Twitter already, um, <laughs> which, uh, which is helped by his acting career as well. But um, we definitely kind of take use of that. Um, so, yeah, we're very active online. We would need kind of uh, marketing support from you as well. You couldn't rely f fully on us, but uh, but yeah, we would be very active on, on what we did online. Thank you. <laughs> so 20, 2012, yes. possibility, you're looking yes. for partners, you're looking to tour it, um, and you're going to be around? 
Yes, for today. For today. Uh, but our details are on um, the brochure that's hopefully gone round. So there's a brochure that's been handed around. The details are on that. You're around today. You're happy to have conversations. Absolutely. Very welcome. Yes, please. Fantastic. So thank you. Thank you, Microscope. Thank you. That's brilliant. Thanks very much.